making his way to the set, hailing from Vancouver, Canada, he is your two-time heavyweight champion, NCIX Jack! Two-time! Two-time! Microsoft is learning the error of its ways. We've all seen the Windows 10 upgrade pop-ups and some of you might have already been tricked into upgrading to the new version of the OS. But now, Microsoft is dialing back the aggressiveness on some of the pop-ups with a new option. The old prompt only had the option of upgrade now, upgrade tonight, or choose time. And then you would have to go through and click through a few pages to get to the cancel upgrade option. With the new prompt, you can choose to upgrade now, choose time, or decline free offer. The offer is good up until July 29th, where after that, Windows 10 will start at $120, but at least they're not being total buttholes about forcing you to upgrade. So, there's that. The Galaxy Note 7 may come in two variants as new rumors are making their way online. The leaks are coming out of Chinese site Weibo, and as we all know on this show, take everything with a grain of salt. The Note 7 will supposedly come in a Snapdragon 821 variant and a Xenos 8893 variant. Other sites are saying that the Snapdragon variant will be aimed at markets like the US, while the Xenos will be more likely to the international crowd. The leak also reconfirmed some of the other specs like the 5.7 inch screen, the 6 gigs of RAM, and up to 256 gigs of storage options and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. Amazon just added a bunch more brands to their ever growing dash button empire. If you don't know what a dash button is, they're basically a $5 button you press anytime you run low on things like paper towels, laundry detergent, even garbage bags. Some of the new buttons includes brands like Dial, Fiji Water, Hershey's, Mentos, and even Nerf and Play-Doh. Wait, Nerf you say? Hmm, that would be perfect since I'm always losing Nerf darts. Intriguing. Oh, it's time for... Thanks, Kason. That was some crazy thunder. If you want to submit your version of Lightning Round, hit me up on Twitter. A picture of the GTX 1060 has surfaced on Reddit from a Hong Kong retailer. Wiley Fox is back with three new phones, the Spark, Spark Plus, and Spark X. Samsung's Galaxy Folder 2 phone has been spotted on GFX Bench. The Minecraft movie has been given a release date of May 25th, 2019. Twitter has confirmed that it's launching an AR division by hiring their new director of VR and AR, Alessandro Sabatelli. And finally, Toshiba made 1.16 terabyte and 3.2 terabyte NVMe SSDs available to OEMs. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Xmas Jackson flax and waxen. The end of June is fast approaching, which means your chance to win sub and win prizes are coming to a close. Yes, if you subscribe to NCX's newsletter, then you get a chance to win prizes. This month's prize pack, you can win a GP14 fan, Integra M700 watt power supply, and a fractal design Define R5 case. Yes, you get all three prizes. Big shout out to Fractal for sponsoring this month's prize. All you have to do is sign up for the newsletter and that's it. You can click here or down below for more details and if you already are subscribed to the NCX newsletter just claim one set of bonus newsletter points found in the weekly newsletter on the top right corner and you'll automatically entered for the sub and win yes and sorry this is only available to residents of Canada and the United States so there's that but prizes free yeah I don't know why I put my thumbs up Alright, that's it for Nailing Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go for a walk in the sunshine with my championship belt. Two time! Two time! 